Happy Wednesday, everyone. This is a pick a card reading for Wednesday, June 9th. You pick a card, main energy, but I do pull it all together. All, card, all cards are for all of us. Two ninth birthdays, I will do your reading next. If you pick card number one, you have the King of Pentacles. Can be dealing with a person today. It is a person card. For a lot of you, this to me is an achievement. If it's got to do with work or a business deal or something you've been working on, I feel there is an achievement or something's coming to completion. But it can also mean to me what I'm picking up is, you know, there's a lot of opportunity opportunities out there. The world is your oyster. Some cycle is closing up is what I feel, okay? For some of you, it could be dealing, actually, I know it's a Pentacles card. I pick up the energy of a Cancer or someone who exhibits those energies, okay? Um, this is, I feel it is someone you do know. It's not it's like a stranger. Um, this is a time to... Um, you know, be proud of your achievements and that, but there is a sense of be careful. There can be, I want to say, jealousy around you, even some anger or a little bit of arrogance, and that's the energy around you. It could be a person or you're feeling it. So I do feel that, but there is some success here, I want to say, okay? If you pick card number two, you have the Ten of Cups. Hmm. All right, I'm feeling two things here, too. All right, this is a day of focusing on people who love you. There's a lot of help around you and happiness. But this could be, you could be very, very happy today, or you could be very emotional is what I'm feeling, okay? Um, focus on the positive, okay? Because this could be, you know, being happy, and then all of a sudden you're overthinking things, and you go into, I don't know, beating yourself up somehow or... Why didn't I do this when I do that? And you're allowing to, to get yourself down somehow. So that is something to be careful of, some of you. I do feel some of you, this could be a message coming into or some kind of news or a new way of thinking, a new thought, okay? And I do feel also this something may make you happy. There could, there could be an up and down today energy. But some of you are just going to be really happy. Good news coming in or a message comes in. And this can indicate money, uh, a money like new, something that you're not actually working for, I want to say. That is for some of you, okay? Um, otherwise, it's just basically a happy card. All right. If you pick card number three, you have the king of swords. See, when we put them together, yeah, see, this is the up and down anyway. All right, what I'm feeling here is be careful, Okay, there. This card usually is honesty, integrity. Someone who speaks their mind is true to themselves, and blah 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 blah, so on. But I feel there's some deception. Somebody may be. This could be a person. Can be either fibbing, um, or trying to convince you about something. Now, I want to say that you, your energy. If you are trying to like forge anything, fib any, or try to deceive anything. Um, like a resume on that. Be careful. You could be ca caught. Now, when dealing with others, I feel that you have learned some lessons and you're going to either, you know, need to kind of look into things before you kind of believe what's said. There is somebody out there also that could be dealing with a narcissistic person. And this person is very, um, you know, very stuck in their ways. I do pick up also, you know, taking your power back is very important here. Uh, a Gemini energy. Okay, there's a Gemini um, energy of showing up somehow, some way. Um, I feel some big changes are coming up too. And you kind of need to be prepared for some of you is what I'm feeling. Okay, for others, this could be just a lot of mental thinking and very business focused today. Okay, dealing with paperwork is what I'm picking up as well. All right, so we do have two kings. We could be, it's very masculine energy, and we are dealing with maybe, you know, different types of energy. This is the pentacles guy. This is here, the, the swords, right? All right, and happiness in between, huh? Um, so king of pentacles, ten of cups, and the king of swords. I do feel that there can be an up and down day, and there could be some disappointments, okay, that we've been kind of dealing with. And then it's like this positive thinking comes through. We leave things behind. We're walking away from something we know better and we're open to something new. Okay. That's going to bring us victory. Okay. So that's what I'm feeling here. 
there is something like we're kind of overwhelmed, a little bit cautious here. Um, if you need help, help, ask for it. You will get it. The two kings, kings and this will represent help um, is coming in. Now, we could be dealing with two energies here, too, I feel. And this is like a Libra and Scorpio for some reason I'm picking up, okay? Um, this is a day to follow our dreams, be open to new people, new experiences, okay? This is making adjustments as well. And that is the way to go today is what I'm feeling. Then we kind of get into control here, um, get things under control here. What I feel there is a yes, 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 go ahead, go keep pushing forward or whatever it is, answer. Or for some of you, if you have a question, it could be yes, okay? It is a very general reading. All right, well, I hope you have a wonderful Wednesday. That is the reading for today, Wednesday, June 9th. And if you're born today, June 9th, happy birthday. This is a quick and general reading, solar year theme, and this is your wish card. You make your wish. I flip it at the end. Three of cups. I like ye. Okay, so that's the theme of the year. Um, I do feel that this is a year of teamwork, is going to is the dream work as uh, I like to say and um get togethers uh talk um celebrations maybe very social energy uh that you can't you need to sometimes also take time for yourself because it could be quite overwhelming something is about to change there is some ending that you are at the verge of a um, closing something up to is what I feel. This is a time to put yourself out there and socialize more. I feel some of you need to socialize more, okay? Because you're kind of overwhelmed and you kind of that will bring you some kind of power or new social circle. This is a year of some of you may have victory over a bully or someone who has been trying to, I don't know, I'm picking up a narcissist or trying to brainwash you. It's a weird um, energy, but I did pick that up. It's a year of taking your power back, okay? Some of you will take a leadership position this year. Now, when it comes to work, school, and career, I do feel that there is some disappointments, sadness, losses, but... There is um something you're not, you know, that's not in the, you haven't, you're not, you don't know about yet. It's in the works for you, so it will take some time, but there is more positivity here. So concentrate on where you are, like, especially in school and that, because I do see, you know, if you, um, if you do apply yourself, then you'll be doing well. There can be some losses and sadness, but this is also ne too much negative thinking. All right. So I do see nothing, not everything is lost. Okay. But anything that is, it will be gained is the best way I can explain this. When it comes to finances, money making opportunities will come through. For some of you, maybe someone owed you money or there's been money out there. You may get some news about it. And um, I do see opportunities will present themselves. So there is a new beginning with finances and offers. Lots of it out there. When it comes to love, if you are single, I do feel that if, you know, being on dating apps, going out, um, um, dating is showing up. And I do feel some of you will bond very strongly with someone. I do see love for some of you, soulmate. And it can be a friend that turns into one too. If you are in a relationship, pay attention to your intuition. Some of you may be renewing your vows or taking your relationship to even a higher level. Um, so I do feel that energy. Some of you may, if you've just been in a long-term relationship, you may actually there be talks of marriage or really a serious, more of a serious commitment. If you are in a serious commitment already marriage, I do see that um, it's still a stronger. There's a sense of um, bonding, um, stronger bonding. I do feel some of you, uh, like a partner, you or may go back to school. There is something there, joining some kind of a group. All relationships be open to new people, new experiences, and this is going to help you. One thing leads to another type of thing, a domino effect, like following your dreams, um, and helpful energies around you. I do like that. Okay. When it comes to your wish for your solar year, you have the page of wands. I feel very quickly some of you with doing your solar year are going to hear some news about it and you're going and it's the and you, you will get what you want. For some of you it'll be around springtime which is March 21st and on in America. So I do um 
feel it's a yes. It could be coming really quickly too, okay? Or hearing something about, uh, news about it anyway. The important numbers for your solar, solar year, 9, 2, 1, 5, 11, and 22. I hope you have a wonderful solar year, a wonderful birthday, and a wonderful solar year ahead. Everyone else, a wonderful Wednesday, and bye for now.